Hello guys, welcome to Pemby's Gaming World. Now this is a video I've wanted to do for some time. It's basically, basically it's about um, YouTubers who give you the information how to render out videos for 60fps for the 1080p 60fps setting on YouTube. And what they're not telling you is all they've done is record a 30fps gameplay at 60 and you know uploaded at 60 frames a second in edit it in Sony Vegas or whatever they use and what they don't realize and what a lot of people don't realize is there's a, the difference between the look of a 30 FPS gameplay and a 60 FPS not only the way it looks but the way it plays as well it's the difference between night and day you know if you play on PC you'll know especially what I'm talking about now these videos here we've got Killzone 2 and 3 which is a remaster series I'm doing which is a simulation of what I believe the game would look like on PlayStation 4 and I'm able to do that with DaVinci Resolve, MeGUI and Hybrid. Hybrid I don't use, but I, I downloaded it. I was going to say bought it. I didn't buy it, buy it. They're all free. This is a very good program, this. Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve. I'll leave links to all of them in the description. You can try them out for yourself. But the thing is, with MeGUI, there's a way of setting it up so you can record 30 FPS gameplays and then put them through MeGUI and basically convert them to 60 frames a second and you're not just re-rendering them it's interpolating the video and it's like blending a frame in between frames so the appearance you get when you look at it, the video it looks like 60 frames a second it doesn't just say it's 60 frames a second it actually looks like it and if you've been watching my content in the last few months you'll know about me uncharted my media UI conversion videos where I've taken 30 FPS gameplays and convert them to 60 and when you actually see them on YouTube it looks like the, the games are running at 60 frames a second that's the big difference now I'll give you an example Killzone 3 where is it part 4 here right now what I've done with this game is a 20 sorry a 720p gameplay 1280 by 720 at 30 frames a second now my version yeah let's have a look at this yeah, well, the properties are already, already done it <laughs> I've recorded it at 9020 by 1080 with the Live Gamer Extreme Capture Card which allows for 1080p 60 FPS capture. All right, just like the Elgato HD60 and HD60S. All right. Um it's recorded like I say 1080p 30 frames a second, right? Because that's basically it runs at 30 frames a second, all right? Let's get rid of that. Now this is the DaVinci Resolve folder that I have and all these are all 60 FPS gameplays that have been converted from 30. But let's have a look at, um, there's part 4 there and there we go 60 frames a second. And it doesn't take that long either, it's very heavy on your um, CPU DaVinci Re Resolve but it's worth tr checking out. Like, as I say I'll leave the links. Now let's have a look at Killzone 3 part 4 at uh, 30 frames a second show you the difference that's 30 frames a second now this is the converted file not just re-rendered -re like a lot of youtubers made that mistake this is converted have a look at this you will see it if you There we go. Now, if you can't see the difference there, you're either viewing it wrong on YouTube, you're trying to view it on a mobile phone or whatever, um, but you need to be in a position to be looking at it on a PC at 1080p 60 frames a second and your PC is able to handle it and your internet of course All right and then you will see 1080p 60 FPS gameplay how it should look and um, what else have we got now this is Red Dead Redemption have a look at this at 60 frames a second What's up? What's what you must remember my dear is Now this isn't a very smooth game, but it does look different as you can see. Uh, 
Uh, home versus Cyborg. This is UFC 2. Re-rendered, converted to 60. Between Holly and now she's stacking her. This is and now Let's watch the finish of this fight here. Hey! Instant knockout. Well done, Holly. Yeah, Holly Holm, a particular fa favourite fighter of mine. Um, I'm just going to show you a few gameplays of Killzone 3 or whatever else I've got that's been converted. Um, there's Uncharted. Actually, the order, I've done a full walkthrough. It's six, 60 frames a second, the order, 1886. Yet another 1080p PlayStation 4 game that runs at 30, but my version, let's uh, let's play uh, any random part of it. My version, not only is it 60 frames a second, it's at full screen too. Have a look at this. Authentic intro as well. Hey guys, welcome back to the... Up the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to cut that bit out. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the order 1886. Now we're going to investigate investigating this cargo, this mysterious cargo. We're going to see what's what it is she's talking about. We'll move it. That is the order 1886 at full screen, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Um, I think there's one other YouTuber I can think of has featured that game at 60 frames a second. That's Rajman Gaming. He's also done it with Uncharted. But I've done a full walkthrough there, which I'm waiting to um, upload because I'm in the middle of my Uncharted walkthrough, which is 30 frames a second converted to 60. As you can see, I've got 15 parts up on YouTube, so check them out. I've not even completed it all yet, that one. I've been so busy. Um, as I say, these are all 30 frames a second versions of Killzone 3. Um, I've actually got Killzone 2 as well, um, 30 FPS versions, so I'm still waiting to convert them. But uh, let's show you one more. Um, let's go a bit into this. Oh, I got shot. Mute the audio. Killzone fans especially. Can you not see the difference and how much better it would look? And this is my simulation basically of what I believe it'd look like on PlayStation 4. So uh, you know, let's put in a petition to Guerrilla Games and um, get the games remastered at uh, 60 frames a second, 1080p on PlayStation 4. It'd be great to see. Uh, but in the meantime, you can enjoy these nostalgic videos that look like gameplays of today. All right. Anyway, I'm Pempy66. I'm going to turn this off. And uh, I hope you understood what I was going on about. And the fact is, when you see a 60 frames a second video, the YouTuber who's put that up has not always understood the true meaning of 60 frames a second. They've, they've basically rendered a 30 fps gameplay at 60 which means when you do that it looks no different than 30 all right so people need to understand this all right let's turn that off i understood all that and i'm going to continue my kill zone walkthroughs and uh, any other game that's 30 frames a second that you know looks fantastic but i'm going to convert them to 60 frames a second to let you see just how how and why it is PC games look so good. You know, it's not just the better graphics and anti-aliasing and all that. It's the frame rates that make them look better as well. All right. That is how to convert 30 frames a second to 60. The proper way. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to turn this program off. This is uh, Mirrorless Action. 
To all you who can't even get this program to work, work I sympathise with you. But I do have tutorials on things you can try to get it working. So I'll check them out. All right. Uh, I think I've covered everything. And uh, I'll see you later.